Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Citizens deck from Theory 11. All right, so what is the Citizens deck? What's the inspiration for it? Uh, the Citizen playing cards, they are probably the most intricate, breathtaking playing cards that Theory 11 has put out to date. Uh, these cards were illustrated by a gentleman named Kevin Cantrell, and every aspect has been handcrafted with relentless, unrivaled attention to detail. You're going to see gold foil, hot stamping, and bronze foil just around the tuck case alone, and I think that the design is very eye-catching, very elegant, and very sophisticated. So you can see all of that foil uh, all around this tuck case. It just wraps all the way around. It's very beautiful. Uh, Theory 11, uh, man, if you can say anything about them, they know how to make a really attractive tuck case, man. Some of the, my most favorite tuck cases are from Theory 11. Uh, the front of the tuck case says Citizens right there in the center. Up at the top it says Premium Playing Cards, and then it says Theory 11, and then it also says E Pluribus Unum. One side of the tuck case says Produced in the USA. The other uh, side says Citizens. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about Theory 11. The top says Citizens. Uh, there was a custom tuck seal that went across here and down, but I ripped mine off because it, it didn't stick very well uh, to the foiling. It didn't, it didn't adhere very well to the box. I just took mine off. Uh, the back design is not the back design of the cards. It's actually an ace pip there with the all-seeing eye, and then these concentric circles that are kind of pulsating away from it. The tongue flap has the uh, C logo for Citizens. And then you have that gold foil on the inside, uh, tiny uh, flaps, and then on the inside of the tuck case. Look at that shimmer, it's really, really beautiful. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their casino grade stock. Uh, they do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss, and if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. A lot of people are always going to ask me how these cards feel and how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do is give you a scientific measurement. Uh, I can put these into a caliper. Uh, what I do is I take 10 cards, 10 cards my standard, and I put that into a caliper and then I measure that for you so that you can compare it against other decks or maybe other playing cards that you've held or maybe that you've owned in the past. Uh, 10 of these cards comes to 2.90. 2.90 is uh, a casino grade stock. Somewhere between 280 and 3.0, 285-ish uh, is uh, United States Playing Card Company's new uh, thinner casino stock. 2.90, they're gonna feel like the Denim deck from Dan and Dave. They'll feel like the Grinders deck or the Artifice deck or the Draconian deck. The back design, as you can see, is uh, very beautiful. It's done in those same colors that you kind of saw from the tuck case, kind of that muted brown and black. You have a normal medium-sized poker border around the edges. And then it does have the three concentric circles that you kind of recognize from maybe a bicycle deck or uh, a tally-ho deck. So on the top and bottom, you have the spade there, you have a circle there in the center, and then a lot of the extras is just line work, uh, graphs, and uh, frames. With this deck, you'll get two extra cards. You're gonna get an add card and a double backer, which is great for magic. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. It does say citizen across the middle, and it's just a big, beautiful graphic. You're also gonna notice a Latin phrase, both on the jokers and on the back of the cards. It's the Latin phrase, al dentes fortuna yavat. Uh, that means fortune favors the brave. Your Ace of Spades is also very large and exploded. It's that same copper coloring. Again, you're gonna see the Citizens logo there in the center. Your Pips and Indice cards will all be completely standard, instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. Your Court cards are also gonna be uh, standard bicycle courts. However, they have been recolored. You're gonna have blacks, deep reds, and again, that gold stamped foil. All right, so that is my review of the Citizens deck from Theory 11. I purchased mine from theory11.com. If you would like to purchase yours, I would head there as well. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.